I'm asked a lot of questions about creativity since I write books and then I'm kind of a creative person. My name is John Maxwell. Welcome to Minute with Maxwell. And I want to talk to you about how to be creative. Now, what's interesting is I'm, uh, I'm creative in communication, in, in writing and in speaking. Uh, my wife is not at all creative in those areas, but she's an artist. She's a, a painter. She's very creative in the arts area. So when I talk about creativity, obviously, there are different lanes of creativity. And, and uh, the one that I'm going to talk about is the one I know. It's the world that I live in. But when people say, John, what's the key to creativity? I think my answer always surprises them. See, I think they're looking for answers like, well, you know, it's a, the ability to see things others can't see, the ability to do things that others can't do. I, I think they're looking for something a little ethereal and a little bit high. And to be honest with you, I don't think that's the main characteristic of a creative person at all. I think the main characteristic of a creative person is very simple. They believe that there's always an answer. And it's that that causes them to create. It's the hope, it's the belief that they can do something that makes a difference. You see, if, if I don't think there's an answer, there's not going to be much creativity to me. I, I, I'm not going to work hard. I'm not going to be persistent. I'm not going to stay with it. I'm, I'm going to basically say, well, I, it's kind of a dead end street. I'm going to let that one go. But the moment that I believe that there's always an answer, and to be honest with you in creativity, I believe there's more than one answer. So there's not always a way, there's usually several ways for me to accomplish what I want to. And the moment that I believe that, what does that do? Believing there's always an answer creates anticipation. And anticipation is the self-discipline of a creative person. I hope you got that. Anticipation is the self-discipline of a creative person. Why do they keep painting? Why do they keep writing? Why do they keep speaking? Why do they do these things? Because they anticipate something good is going to happen. When I go to my desk early in the morning, and I mean early in the morning, sometimes 4.30, 5 o'clock, I slip on my robe. And by the time I get to my office and sit down at my desk, look at my legal pad and my four-color pen, I am filled with anticipation. I'm about to write. And I'm going to put some things on paper that I've never thought of before. I'm going to put some things on paper that are going to help people. And I can hardly wait to, to let it flow. Now, it doesn't always flow well. There are times when I have writer's blocks. There are times when I throw more paper away than I keep. Of course, but, but, but by and large, generally speaking, there's a sense of anticipation. There's always an answer. There's more than one answer. I'm going to be able to help people. And it's that which causes me to get up early and right. You see, if you're creative, you really believe that what you're doing is going to make a difference. And that's what motivates you to find a way. Creative people always find a way. They never get stuck because they never assume that's where they should be. If they're stuck, it's got to be for a moment before they move on. If they're in a traffic jam, they're holding just for a period of time, then they're moving on because they're always going somewhere. They're always anticipating something good's going to happen. So you want to be creative? Two things. Find your strength. You can only be creative and intuitive in the area of your strengths, not your weaknesses. And number two, create a sense of anticipation that what you do is going to make a difference. When you do those two things, guess what? They'll be asking you questions like they do me about creativity. John Maxwell here. Glad you were with me on Minute with Maxwell.